Okay. Um, all right. A 0 0.2 kilogram object performs simple harmonic motion with displacement x from the equilibrium point as in figure 9.5. Now determine the amplitude, the angular frequency, and the total energy of the system. Okay. So okay, what? In what uh, what graph do we have here? Okay, uh, we have a displacement time graph. Okay, this is a displacement time graph. And be careful with the unit. Ah, first thing I look at graph, I look at the unit. Uh, this is centimeter, not meter. So you need to change to um, you need to change to meter. Okay. You need to change this to SI unit meter. Okay. Uh, given the mass here, 0 0.2 kilogram. Um, all right. So what can we understand from this graph? Okay, this is a displacement time graph. So this is the maximum displacement here. Okay. Uh, this is the maximum displacement, uh, which is actually the amplitude, uh, which is the amplitude. Uh, amplitude is 8. Okay, 8 centimeter. And this is one wavelength. You see that? Uh, one wavelength. So we can say this is the period. Uh, period is 0 0.8 second. Uh, this is these are the things we, we should take note. Understand? Uh, take note of this one and this one. Okay. So now let's continue. Um, so do the question A. Okay. Question A, so the amplitude is actually, um, yeah, 8 centimeter. Uh, all right, 8 centimeter. Uh, the unit is centimeter. Huh? Okay, is the answer correct? Yes, 8 centimeter, that's correct. Now, what is the angular frequency? Okay, uh, first question is amplitude. Second question is angular frequency. Angular frequency is omega. Okay, omega in previous chapter, we omega is angular velocity, angular velocity. Uh, but in this chapter, omega is also called angular frequency. Okay. Now, um, B, so omega, angular frequency, um, we don't have, okay, we have period. Uh, so this period can help us to find omega because we know that omega is 2 pi over period. Uh, 2 pi over period so uh, 2 pi over period period is a uh, period is 0 0.8 second okay 0 0.8 second uh, so yeah that's it uh, 0 0.8 second um, okay so calculate and what do we get right okay uh, what's the answer okay Okay, uh, it is uh, 7.85, uh, 7.85, uh, you can write radian per second or just per second, yeah, uh, or, or you can just write x per second because radian is not an SI unit, okay, radian is not an SI unit, but if, if the question just focus on omega, I think it's better you write, write radian per second. Okay? Uh, it's better you write radian per second. Okay? Sometimes the, the uh, answer just give as per second. Okay? But if specifically ask omega, you just give the answer in radian per second. It's better. Right? Okay. So, uh, 7.85 radian per second. Okay? Uh, that's correct. Uh, Ah, so uh, what's the next thing? C. What's the total energy of the system? Uh, Sometimes uh, this total energy means the total mechanical energy. Lah. Total mechanical energy, uh, which is the, you know, total mechanical energy is the uh, E total. Okay, E total, which is the potential energy plus kinetic energy. Uh, because mechanical energy only has these two, two forms, these two types. Potential energy and kinetic energy. So uh, the total mechanical energy of the system. Okay. So what's the formula for for that? 
total uh, total energy uh, total energy formula is uh, half m omega square amplitude square uh, half m omega square amplitude square very simple so what is your mass mass is 0 0.2 0 0.2 what is your omega uh, omega is 7.85 where uh, and then uh, your amplitude oh ha 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 centimeter you see that you need to change to meter uh, so you need to change to meter so divide by 100 it is 0 0.08 meter huh? because your energy is joule understand or not uh, joule, joule, uh, that means you must, uh, must, uh, the mass must be in kilogram, uh, the, the length must be in meter or in SI unit, must be in second, uh, must all in SI unit uh, for the joule, uh, yeah? joule or in SI unit, so your, your amplitude cannot remain as centimeter, you must change to meter, understand, uh, must change to meter. So, okay, and then square. Uh, so, what's the answer? So, what's the answer? Uh, let's calculate. Okay, so um, the answer is uh, zero, uh, 0 0.03 uh, meter. Zero point zero three nine four. Uh, SI unit. Uh, remember, uh, the the length, the the amplitude. You must change from centimeter to meter. Okay. Be careful with the the axis, the unit at the axis. Uh, always check the unit at the axis. Okay. Uh, so I think that's that's it. Uh, that's the answer. Okay. Uh, zero point. Uh, 0935 0 0.0934 joule okay that's that's it okay thank you uh, see you in the next videos